came up with the two biggest plays on defense when the team needed it most. You know, what kind of shot in the arm did that give the team? Um, I mean, that just, uh, you know, us just buying into what, what we preach every day, and that's playing the next play no matter what. And um, I was just fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time with the right call. You've had a knack. I think you set the career record on like 11 forced fumbles, something like that. What, what do you do to enable you to be able to do that? I mean, just getting to the ball. Um, when you're around the ball, good things happen. And um, I was fortunate enough to get two today. When you got the one on, on, the, on the quarterback on the third down, the one that's going toward the sideline, kind of take us through that. What did you see and how did you get there? Uh, you know, I think they were two by two. And uh, when the quarterback starts scrambling, I'm, I'm the guy who pulls it up. And, uh, you know, uh, our D-line did a great job flushing them and chasing them. And he, he, he really never seen me coming. So um, all the credit goes to them. Does that fumble record, you know, mean anything to you in particular? Or is it just? I mean, it's just, um, you know, the credit to all the guys around me who's been able to help me get that, and um, the guys I've played with in the past year. So, how hard is it to tackle Tyler? Just out of Tyler Nat? Yeah. He's a big guy. Yeah, that's what I mean. And you know, uh, practice you can't go low on him, so he's he's a load. If you go up top with him, you're not taking him down. Well, what did you think when you saw that package in practice? I was like, this is unique, you know. <laughs> Uh, you got the speed, and you got Nate T, who just runs it, runs everybody over. So, is there anybody you compare Tyler to? Uh, you know how hard he runs. Like when it's when you're hitting him, it's like tackling Jay Jay Howe. So, uh, he's he's a great runner. He's a downhill runner, and um, I'm excited for uh, him to keep growing throughout this process. I suppose I mean, this defense obviously didn't play its best today. But when you needed some plays, you got the takeaways that you kind of needed. Just what, what does that say about this defense that they can keep playing and, and make stuff happen? Uh, just going back to practice and um, you know just doing the little things right. There was a lot of things that uh, we let get away. Um, you know, just one, two plays that uh, should have been no gains or, or two yard gains, and um, you know we just got to do those things right all through the week so they come to the game and just finish the game. Do you kind of know that a takeaway or two would kind of change the outlook of it? I mean, any, anytime you can get a takeaway, it's going to change the game. And that's one thing we preach is takeaways and getting the ball back for the offense so they can score. What is getting, getting the four wins, obviously, with what you got left, you know, just makes the bowl picture a little bit clearer as far as what you got to do to get there. Just what are your thoughts as a player getting the four wins, still keeping that close? I don't think anybody on the team is thinking about that. We're just taking one game at a time and uh, each week one, one game. So um, that's all that matters right now is uh, next week, the uh, Rutgers. What do you think the difference was today? And you obviously have lost three games coming in. Today you got the victory. What do you think the biggest difference was? Uh, you know, our seniors and uh, Mitchell Page and them, uh, you know, they held an offensive team meeting. And, um, you know, I think that was huge. You know, teams are led by players, and it's our job to, to when things aren't going right, to, to get it together. And uh, they did a great job. They changed the mindset. and. Um, you know, they just came out playing hard and playing fast. That's all.